Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Okay, I'm really excited about this week. See, last week I was spending some time with our pastor at church, Pastor Jarrett, and I was talking to him about um, uh, some presentation he had made, and, and I don't remember what it was, but he told me that he had spoken from Isaiah 41, specifically, I think, verses 8 through 10. And, and he mentioned that there are five promises God makes there. And I thought, hmm, five promises God makes, five video thoughts of the day for make up one week. That's what I need to do. And so that's where we are. And I love the first promise. Actually, I love all of the promises. But this is from the pen of the mouth of Isaiah. Now, Isaiah is writing these these promises, these words. But Isaiah is one of these guys who repeatedly in the Hebrew says something along the lines of, Ki pi Adonai diber, you know, because the mouth of the Lord has said it or spoken it. And, and, and that is what Isaiah was doing. It's like he was the speaker and God was the music that was being played through the speaker. And so if we look at this, these five promises I want to talk to you about this week are promises that I can say are from Isaiah, but they're really from God. Now, I want you to take these to heart. These are promises that God is extending to, to his people, specifically the people of Israel, but, but, but specifically in, in our mind right now, I think we can read this as genuine promises God makes to those people in relationship with him. And so with that in mind, I want to start with the first one. And it's found at the, the end of, well, actually, they're all in verse 10. But, but I want to pick up with the end of verse 9 where God says, I've chosen you and I haven't cast you off. And then he says this, fear not. Fear not. That's a tremendous concept. That is... Um, that that is something that can change your life. I don't know what you're facing today. I think some people who listen to this are fighting um, cancer. Some people who listen to this are fighting other diseases or their loved ones are struggling with the after effects of a stroke or, or any number of things. Some people who listen to this are fighting demons and and uh, some addictions and, and some who listen to this just have a struggle trying to make it through the day. I've got some people who listen to this who let me know that they're really depressed and looking for help. It doesn't matter what you're faced with. God makes this promise. He says, fear not for I am with you. That's the first promise. I am with you. Ah, I see it up here in my Hebrew text. This is really good. He says, fear not. Um, imcha ani. Imcha ani. Now, ka at the end of a word in Hebrew means you. And with each of these five promises, the Hebrew echoes, it resonates, it just sounds over and over with this ka, 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 because God's saying, this is with you, with you, with you. And if we were hearing this with Hebrew ears, that with you, with you would really stand out in our minds. It would stand out in our mind because we'd hear it over and over and over, ka, ka, ka. So God, he says, Ani, I am with you. That's reason not to fear. You know, Psalm 20 is one of my favorite psalms to pray for people who are struggling. Uh, look it up. Pray it for someone who's struggling. But at the end of the psalm, second to the last verse, I think, it says, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God because there's nothing, nothing that can get in the way of God being with you. So I want you to think about that. I want you to hold on to that promise. And if you're in a place in life where you're not as close to God as you used to be, 
You know, it's like the old saying of uh, the, the older couple. I don't remember if this happened or if I just remember it as a story, but the way I remember it was an older couple in church uh, back when I was a kid and, and we had uh, bench seats and boyfriend and girlfriend got in the car together and she sat right next to him. And the older couple, the wife said to the husband, said, uh, how come you and I don't sit right next to each other in the car anymore like those lovebirds? The husband said, I'm not the one who moved. See, if you're not as close to God as you used to be, you know who moved. And I want you to move back to him. Take advantage of this. Fear not whatever you've got in your life because God is with you. More reasons not to fear tomorrow, but this is your video thought for the day.